what is up ladies and gentlemen we are back with another part of dark souls 3 now in the last video there were some uh there were some issues with the recording and uh the last two videos actually so i'm not too sure if i'll be able to upload those but not much was missed it was honestly a lot of backtracking and grinding in a sense so uh all that has happened up until this point, which I'm sure you guys know, is we defeated Fort of the Boreal Valley, which is the second main boss that we've encountered, and we've come across the Undead Settlement, which is right here in front of us, this dead shanty town of a place. But uh, we're not too far into it. We've discovered our second bonfire down here, and we're just going to take it from here and move forward. So here we go. The recording should be good now. If it's not, I'm going to be sure to backtrack my steps if it's not good. But hopefully it should be. Hopefully a little bit of luck will make it through this. Because I am still awake from my Philippines trip and I am tired. But I am still bringing more Dead Souls at to you. There's a problem that apparently. we uh, figure out how to defeat him or get him to stop their own arrows which are comes first. That's just nice. I like these flowers. Critical foe ahead. Where? Is that him? No, those are just little praying dudes. 
Lock her into that thing? Is that the boss? Oh, please tell me that's not a boss. Okay. Well, I don't think there's much going on here. Let's not fight that yet. And let's go this way. sword the the, uh, the giant guy Yorm had in the beginning in that uh, video. We'll work on getting our strengths up so we can actually use bigger weapons because we're going to go with the knife build so it's going to be a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat not so much uh, magic or anything of the like. Hello. Oh, that's so loud.
does that open from, huh? Huh? You tell me. Try jumping off. Huh? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to okay. learn some pyromancies from this old man? Oh, I guess, please, actually. That would be amazing. <laughs> Most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. Fine. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> As is cool. So we can possibly learn some pyromancing techniques from him. Which is one of the other classes I thought about picking up was a pyromancer. But uh, I didn't want to rely too much on magic. I wanted to focus more on combat. And, uh, my own health gauge. I wonder how I can get that. Can I, uh... There's gotta be a way to, like, shoot, right? There we go. Okay, so I figured that out. God, that is just not easy at all. Mm, I wanna be able to shoot that down. Why is that so difficult? Oh, I can probably get a leaping run and hit it, huh? Maybe? Is there a way to, like... There would be a way to, like, aim this, right? Yes, cool. Alright. Nothing up 
love me. Is he below me? Not to the point where I can get him down. Oh wait, here we go. easier on ourselves. Instead of looking for an enemy to absorb the damage, kill you while I'm here. Oh, they don't even give me souls. Now I feel bad. Oh, there's one of these bitches. I think I'll do my best to avoid. Yeah, that is a troublesome looking fight over there.
damn it. That's one thing I did not want to see. Okay, so yeah, here is our, our bonfire. So we'll go ahead and press. And we'll head back into our journey. And that big rat's gonna be back, I'm betting on it. Yep. Look at him. Just sitting there. Do I attack or do I avoid? I think we'll try avoiding him. And then sprint. We made it past the rats. You can't catch me. I'm using a ladder. Okay. This is the tower where the guy's at. Hello, who are you? Try attacking. Okay. I don't know. If he doesn't mm. attack me, I ain't gonna attack him. Another one of those unkindled, cool are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right then. Thanks for the pep talk, I guess. Fuck. You're cool. I want you to come on my team. All right, all right, guys. We're gonna end the video here. Talk to this guy. I'm going to uh, 
double check, make sure my recording equipment's good to go. And uh, until then, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.